Okay, good morning. Listen. Can you hear that? That's the Woodwick candle. I hope you could hear it crackling. I wanted to do that really quick before the refrigerator switched on and started to hum or any other sort of gadgets in the house. So listen, I can't remember if I, I know I showed this on a video using my big coffee machine here. This is the big one, the Virtuo, okay? But I don't know if I showed it using my small original line machine, the Pixie, uh, which makes espressos and longos and things like that. Let me pop this back in the fridge. So, okay. You know, sometimes if you follow my videos, you know that I've had problems with things overflowing or being concerned about it. So I'm going to show you my fix for that and my way to sort of have a one pot meal <laughs> with the coffee. So <clears throat> I'm going to take some Hershey's cocoa here, the special dark, okay? And I've got I've got my milk frother, okay? And I'm going to put some in here. Oh my gosh, wait, should I have put that? You know, I do these things on the fly. We'll have to see if this is gonna froth now, okay? Let's, let's put it down here. And, oh, and I meant to put in some sweet, my goodness, I am disorganized. I was so excited to let you hear the Woodwick candle crackling that I forgot um, just everything else went out of my mind. Okay, wait. All right, I poured in some Christmas cookie syrup. This is sugar-free, uh, zero-calorie Jordan's Christmas cookie, one of my favorites. And now what I've got this morning is I've got the raspberry espresso, the holiday limited, it's supposed to be a limited edition. Oh my gosh, I, everybody that I know, everybody I read about online says, oh, please keep making this. Oh my goodness. So, oh, and good morning to whoever's watching. I see Phyllis. Hey. So, all right, the reason I got a little bit flustered here about putting the cocoa in. Oh, I maybe should have frothed the milk first. Sometimes when you put in powdered stuff with the milk you're gonna froth, it stops it from being able to froth because the little particles cause the bubbles to kind of bust. Uh, we'll see, I don't think, all right. So it didn't froth, it just kind of, you know, got, a little whipped up, but that's okay, because here's the point. Let's just make believe with me that I have a big th thing of froth here, okay? Because that's usually what happens, and then, you know, when I'm trying to uh, run my coffee into a cup that already has the froth, you know, it might overflow. Anyhow, so I am going to Go ahead and extract my espresso right into the milk frother, okay? Now, often I have done this with my Virtuo machine because that makes much larger cups and it can be a problem, you know, with it, the froth rising up and possibly overflowing. So I'm just going to give it a little stir. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me let you have a look. Okay. Now this is what I'm going to do.
a one pot meal. Well, as far as the coffee goes, you know, what would happen previously is I'd have my cup and I'd make the froth and I'd pour the froth in and then I'd start brewing the coffee in and things would get higher and higher and you know, it became um, difficult because it might overflow. Now you might say, well, why don't you put the, you know, put the coffee in first and then put the froth in. I don't know, I just like it the other way. I like a cafe reverso. Um, also, when you do it that way, it makes it makes part of the froth extra creamy when the coffee is going down into the milk or into the already froth milk. But anyway, now I only have to clean this this morning. Actually, I didn't even have to stir it. I could have just given it a swirl around. So <laughs> that's my lazy person tip for you this morning. Mm. The raspberry, oh gosh, that's the raspberry, and the chocolate. Mm. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to my Silver Sneakers Christmas party today. Made some healthy snacks here, I'll show you. So, I've got celery with Laughing Cow Light Cheese, and little cherry tomato halves. And then I've got cherry tomatoes and I've got strips of Sargento light string cheese. So, that's what I'm gonna bring today. Everybody's bringing a little something to the party. Okay, oh, Sandy, hey. And anyone else who's watching, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and a peaceful day where you can find a little bit of quiet time. Golly, even if you have to lock yourself in the bathroom or something for a couple minutes and just 